So I'm here shooting with my son, Colin. Say hi, Colin. Hey, what's up, guys? And so we're doing a little uh, um, kind of a falling sort of scene in this parkade sort of area. We'll I'll have pictures on there of what we did behind the scenes. Of course, in Photoshop will make it look like he actually is falling without actually me pushing him or someone else yeah. pushing him. So what anyway. in actuality, I'm on the chair. <laughs> So tell me a little bit about your character. Uh, so what we're essentially doing is homaging uh, J. Obar's The Crow, the graphic novel rather than the movie. Essentially the kind of feel it's getting, at least with these shots, are a fall from heaven sort of deal. So kind of like the Renaissance, sort of as they're looking up hopeful to the heavens, yet they're very much damned. Um, this next shot we're going to be doing is Rather than having me be somewhat horizontal, it's going to be vertical. So it looks like kind of like the, as you described it, the, the, the superhero falling landing sort of deal. Um, but that's what I'm going to be trying next. See how it turns out. It's going to, so far, all their shots turned out great. All right. So uh, keep, we'll keep uh, making a little bit some videos and breaking in between until. The next tight alley that you know, the cameraman over here, David, actually found. Um, uh, we did a couple shots where, you know, one with my, you know, my legs up, but all dramatic, kind of just resting, and then the other one where I'm more hugging the wall, you know, tragically, you know, or, you know, depressingly, you know, dramatically. Um, we we're, we're actually got a, a couple extra decent exposures. We're probably going to take it with a darker exposure, but got some pretty uh, good shots. Uh, look forward to those. Um, is there anything else we want to mention? Yeah, I think mean, that's about it. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, it definitely is. We're actually getting back in books. Yeah, um, anyways, we're probably going to do some more shots. Uh, stay tuned for some more awesome. <laughs> Yep. Our last location, the location before that was rather interesting. Yeah, we, we met a friendly little fellow. He, uh, he's the red man that photobombs. The, yeah, the, 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 the red, red photobomb head. strikes right. again. The red-headed pho photobomber. At any rate, the, the, there'll be a picture of him in there. So it, it'll be really interesting. But the alley that we were shooting in, that one, I think I'm, I'm going to like the best. Yeah, so. definitely. Because even the ones that we outshot on that dumpster. Yeah, I think they, they turn out they, okay. They turned out okay. We'll they, see how they look They're still really, out really post. strong. Compo yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see how they work. So, at any rate, uh, we're on the last one. We're just waiting for a light yeah. above us to turn on, uh, do some shoots with the flash and stuff. And Call it a day. Call it a day. Yes, it's been really fun. All right, stay tuned, guys. Uh, posts, pictures will be posted. Okay, I'm here on top of a parkade here at Cedar Rapids, overlooking First Avenue, which you see over my shoulder. It's part of a photo shoot that I'm doing with Colin in his crow themed session. Now, I'm waiting for sunset so I can get the lights of the building and the street and the, and the cars. And then what I'm going to do is take an image that I had done up in earlier and then composite it into this scene. I hope I get done here really soon because I tell you what, I am not a big fan of this hype thing. So we'll see how it turns out. Until then. Uh...